Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Shallon. If you're not, that was for you. We're installing this wig today and showing you how I do my classic big curls, big, sexy, cute Shallon curls from start to finish. So if you wanna see that, keep on watching. Do you guys know that guy on TikTok? I'll show you. That does these videos, this guy. I can't stop watching him. I've watched probably and I'm not even kidding. Every single, I watched the entire playlist. I know that, I know that much for certain. And I just can't stop watching the video. Like there's so, like I'm so thoroughly entertained. I'm so entertained it's not even funny. Until, like he eats me up like every time, like he gets me. Like I, I'm like addicted to those videos. He needs to make one every hour of the day. I don't like watching True Crime. I don't like it at all. I'm very paranoid as is. So that's not really something that is good for me to watch. But he just kind of tells the stories, I guess, so normally. I like, like I'm, I don't know. Like he, it feels like someone's like reading a book to me, but there's like pictures. Like I'm getting a movie and a picture book at the same time. And I think the way that he talks, it like appeals to me. I don't know, like I like it. I like asked my boyfriend to watch him and I was like, isn't this entertaining? But I don't remember if I actually showed him or I, I just remember wanting to show him, and I think I told him about the guy, but I don't remember if I showed him the video, but I'm gonna show him now, because his videos are good. It's time for her to go. She lived for a good three, four days. Now it's time for her to make an exit. Woo, okay. Firstly, what we're really here for today is I'm gonna show you guys how to install one of my classic Shallon curly wigs, start to finish. Full walkthrough, so pay it, bitch. My camera did die almost immediately. Um, but back to business, back to what we're here for today. So if you're new here, I have a very classic and standard look. Insert photos. Ow, that mm. it hurt. I mean, ouch, that hurt just a little. I have a pretty standard look, which is curly blonde wigs. My real hair um, used to be this giant black afro and then I shaved my head, I wanna say last year, and now I'm very ultra bald under here. And I love it and I would keep it bald all the time, literally to the point where I shaved a giant patch out of my head the other day. I wonder if y'all can see it, hold on. And I don't even care, cause don't nobody be seeing it. <laughs> I don't know if it's even showing up. Look, it's right there. And that's how I get down. So I'm gonna show you how to install this start to finish because I still get so many questions every day. Shallon, I, I tried installing it. It didn't look how yours looked. Shallon, how do you do this? I got y'all, my real sisters. And to answer some frequently asked questions, you can use any wig for this look. It just has to be curly. That is it. It just has to have curls. And honestly, I get the best experience with a half wig, this is a half wig. A half wig is usually designed to put halfway on your head and then you use your real hair to pull forward the rest. I don't do that. So as long as it's a half wig and it has this brimmed edge like it has here, you'll be able to make the, the bangs, which is what I do to make these look natural. So now let's, we gotta take this off and then we're gonna put this on. But what we're gonna do is actually spray the wig first because that's what I do and I like to leave it and let it sit and then the scent really sticks to it. Then we'll need out. You're gonna take your wig, you know, bring that bitch up. And with vanilla roll, you better hold your breath. Ooh, shit. That thing is dope. And then what I like to do is literally put it somewhere and let it sit and let the smell really stick. And you can even put it back in the wig bag, but this is synthetic, so I don't have a wig bag for it. So I'm just gonna put it on my couch. Be right back. Um, I was actually too lazy to take it out there, so it's just on the door. So she'll be good till we're ready. We gotta get rid of her. Okay, moment of silence, guys. They shutting down Dollar Tree, they is! Okay, ready? Uh, I should have done, I should have done a cool style while I had this on, but, oh well. Wait, I should brush it out first, just, just to see. I wanted to perm rod it, and that be the vibe, like, ooh, curls, but no, I was too lazy. <laughs> the wig is too long. Wow. She lived a beautiful life. She did. Um, but she's gotta go. Look off my head, I'm not even kidding. Get off. Damn, I installed the... Whoa, mind y'all, when I was washing my face last night, I was like scrubbing all over my lace and I really, like I installed this bitch down. She not trying to get off, but she got to. Um, sister, you've gotta go. Like you really have to go. You have to go. You have to go. If you care about your edges, don't follow what I'm doing. If you wanna be a responsible adult, you can just use some dish soap and water. It will lift it off. Um, I just didn't want to get up, so. <laughs> okay, you, okay, there we go. I was about to say, not in front of my friends. Not in front of my friends, it doesn't want to work and it works out of 10, see? And it's a lot less evasive than using like the alcohol. You can even use some leave-in conditioner. Um, I use conditioner sometimes to get it off, but that's how you can get that off. I took off my lace wig on TikTok a couple weeks ago and she just lifted right off my head. This is a little, wow, like I kind of ate this install up. She was like a struggle to take off. Like, look at this. She's still not even really coming off. I ate. It's giving hairstylist. It's giving Erica Tay. 
I'm gonna be back when I take this off. I just washed the front of my hair to get the wig glue out. That was hard. I used some remover I found though. I'll show it to you guys at the end of the video. My head is itching, I need to wash my hair. Well, I don't need to wash my hair. I washed my hair the day I installed that blonde wig wig, which I think was two days ago, but my head itches all the time. I think I take too long to cut my hair in between cuts. So when I take too long, it just starts itching all the time. Like I'll be in bed laying down and it's just itching and it's so irritating. But anyway, you know people on TikTok were calling me dirty because I made a video a while ago doing the same thing, taking off a wig and then putting on another one. And they were like, you didn't even wash your hair. Do you think I sleep in this? I cut my hair after that video. So I cut my hair and then showered and washed my hair. But regularly, it doesn't matter. Like I, you put this on for like, I put this, I put that on for like 12 minutes to make that video. And then I took it off and I showered and went to bed. <laughs> like, and I do, I'm gonna do the same thing after this. After this, I'm gonna put this wig on my head and then I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna lay down on my bed and watch TV. I'm watching Spy Family right now. I'm kind of obsessed. So what you're gonna do is the wig has combs inside of it. It has a, usually there's like, most wigs have them in like the general same spot, but there's usually a big one at the front, two on the sides, one in the bottom. This one has all four. And then this one has this like elastic that you can tighten and loosen the wig with, which I love because sometimes these wigs are too tight because they're halfway, so they're meant to be on half of your head instead of your whole head. And sometimes they're too loose. So I like that you can adjust this one, I love it. So what I do is just pop it on my head real regular like and look like this for a second okay so what I do I get that first comb right here and this is why I have no edges up here and then I do the same with the sides and why I have no edges on the sides these combs will eat away at your edges over time just to just to let you know and I didn't help any of that because when I have anxiety I literally rip my hair out like I would take my edges and twirl them and just and just rip them out and I'll do the same thing with my toenails I would literally take my toenails and I'd like go like this Rip them right off. And I used to feel good after, real good. Then once I've like gotten my, well, I didn't even tell you what I was doing. What you're gonna do is take out a little perimeter. I usually do around my whole head, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna just do my whole head. I don't know why I was gonna be lazy. I literally got dressed just to film this. <laughs> like girl, you ain't got nothing else to do. So you're gonna take out the full perimeter, just like the first layer of hair that covers the perimeter. You really don't need to use too much hair for this. And then once you've done that, I section off the rest of the hair just so I can focus on what I'm doing at the moment. And I'll usually just like put it in a pocket or something just to get it out of my way. Just like that. And once you, you're gonna get your little perimeter, that's when you get the scissors out. If you've been on my YouTube, you know I get real scissor happy, so I have to take it easy at this point. This is where you cut and form the best shape for your face. For me, I kind of just do like an upside down U because it just kind of works for me. I don't know what face shape I have. I thought I had a square face, then I thought I had a hard face, then I thought I had a circle one, so I really don't know. But I feel like I tend to like how I look when I cut it like you. <laughs> oh, excuse me. For the front, I cut the front like a U. And once I've got the front like that, these really long pieces are the back. I actually cut these a lot shorter because I only even make these pieces for when I want to wear the hair up in different styles and it needs to look like there's some sort of like natural baby hair when you do that. So I cut a lot. I cut those real short, just like this. I hate hair on me. Anyway, then I take a comb and I comb out these pieces around the front because they need to look poofy and natural. You guys always tell me it doesn't look natural when I do it, Shallon. And then I see that y'all did not brush out the curls. You cannot be scared to brush out the curls. You have to brush them out. That's where the natural look will come in. Don't be scared. Then your best friends, when it comes to this look, bobby pins. You're gonna pin those bangs down. I like a good classic X shape across the center. Don't worry about this. These over time, the more you wear the wig, they're gonna close up, it's gonna get matted up there, and it's gonna naturally cover itself. So don't stress about that at the moment. Pin her in, pin that perimeter down. As many, as, as secure as you can, don't interrupt me. As secure as you can get it, pin that perimeter. The back doesn't need pins because it's not gonna come up. And when I pin, my bangs are usually a lot lower than I want them. I don't really like bangs in my eyes. I wear contacts and I feel really weary and weird about things in my eye. So I don't like them too much in my eye. Just cut them till you like them. Like, see? I think I like them like that. I think that's the that's the shape I like. Why is this updo kind of cute? Now, you can take out the rest of the hair. Oh, okay, not too much. Oh my gosh, this hair in my eye. This hair in my eye. I feel it. There's two. Get out of here. Don't put stuff like that in your eye. That wasn't smart of me. There's hair everywhere. Then, don't be afraid. Comb that wig out. She wants to be combed out. 
She doesn't want to stay like that. You can't hold her back forever, mom. Calm it out. It's literally going to be fine. Calm it out. I've seen some people ask me too if you can wash these. I mean, realistically, you can. I don't see the point because they, they for me, they tend not to look the exact same after they've been washed. Um, you have to like add products. Since it's literally plastic, it's not hair. It's plastic, so it just doesn't form itself back the same way. So I don't see the point. I used to um, back then because I really couldn't afford to buy a new wig whenever mine got matted. But to be real, whenever these get matted, I keep wearing them. I will keep wearing it until it looks bad. So, you know, that's up to your discretion. But you have to use like products that make sense for a synthetic wig. Don't waste your shampoo and conditioner trying to wash a synthetic wig. Do you see what I was saying now? Like, you've got to brush her out. You can't be afraid. These spaces will close. Don't worry. It literally always looks like this the first day I put these wigs on. And then over time, like, these roots will get matted, always having bobby pins in them, and they'll start to just kind of fuse into a clump of hair there, which makes it look natural. And that's literally how I do it. Bitch. Sometimes, even if I want the gap to close sooner, like if I was going to a carpet today, I obviously wouldn't leave it like this. So I'll take pieces of hair and like fold them in. I'll be pin that into like where there was a space and boom, the space has disappeared. One thing being very, very poor taught me was how to make something shake. I feel like I can make just about anything shake. I feel like I'm very resourceful. I can make something work. I really can. I just wish these wigs didn't have, they didn't, most of them have these super dark roots. I'm not a fan. I wish the whole thing was blonde, but that's just kind of how they look a lot of the time. But that's literally it. That's it. Comb it out to your desired look. I do different styles with these. One of my favorite styles is I take this little clip and I clip it right there and it looks so cute. Or I'll take a scrunchie. You can do like two pigtails. You can do a low bun. I even do high buns. I can make videos on different styles if you guys want, but I'm tired, so I don't want to do it today. So unrelated to the hair, my top five fragrances because somebody asked me on TikTok and I was like, wait, y'all want my perfume per opinion? Of course. Coming in at number one, Creed Queen of Silk. This is expensive, but it smells so good. It's very strong, very floral, very musky. And I think I'm starting to realize that I like musk more than I thought. Like, I like a musky fragrance. I do. Vanilla Royale by Kayali. The vanilla notes are so strong. I don't like to pretend I'm like a perfume expert. Um, I really like perfume. I really like to smell good, but I don't know too much about, like I can't smell a perfume and know every note off top. So I'll read them to you, but um, before I read them to you, I'll tell you what I think it smells like. It's like a strong, like whiskey vanilla. It's a very strong vanilla. It smells very mature. I feel like a lot of vanilla perfumes make me feel like I smell younger, but I don't know, I feel like this makes me, I feel grown when I have it on, like grown and sexy and I love it. The actual notes are vanilla, I don't know how to say that word, Suda, Suda Bol, Suda Bisole, Suda Balut. Um, don't put that in there, that's actually so embarrassing. I can't pronounce one of the words. So vanilla, something. Golden rum, mmm, the rum. Creme brulee, ooh, brown sugar, royal oud, and sugared patchouli, top five for real. Replica Jazz Club. As you can see, I put her to work. Um, I don't know what to tell you. This is also like, see, I'm realizing now I really do like a mature fragrance because this is also very mature, very like you, like you smell a set. You, you're walking around a club and you smell someone that smells really mature and sexy. She was wearing this. Know that. Valentino. Now this is one of the sweeter fragrances I have. It's not like overly sweet. It's just sweeter than the rest I, I um told you about. It's a little more floral and it's a little more, mm, I'd say, like, I think you could smell like, like my mom would smell like this. My mom would love this, like an older woman's like comfort smell. I feel like this is that type of scent. And Say Noir by Beyonce. I loved her. Don't know what to tell y'all. I know some of y'all didn't, but I did. The honey came through so strong on me. Oh, I just noticed we can see the fragrance through here. I had no idea we could do that. It came through so strong on me. I don't know what to tell you. Me and her, we got along well. But anyway, I'll put a timestamp to like skip that part if you didn't want to watch that, so you can come right here. But thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments, turn on notifications, but like good stuff. And I'll see you next next time. I'll see you what? I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, there's so much hair on the floor. No. No, 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 this is horrible. You've got to get out of here. There's not much time.